The great emperor Chandragupta Maurya lived between 324 to 297 BCE. He once ordered his minister Pushyagupta to construct an irrigation lake in the present-day Junagadh. Thus at the foothills of Mount Girnar and the confluence of rivers Suvarna Sikta and Palashini, Lake Sudarshan was constructed. Decades later, Emperor Ashok ordered his Greek governor Tushasva to design and construct irrigation canals on the Lake Sudarshan. The lake continued to serve the people in the region for centuries to come until an unseasonal cloudburst wrecked the dam around 150 CE. Then, the region was ruled by the Shak king Rudra Daman. He repaired the Band again, and he did so against the advice of his royal advisors. The Band was used for centuries to come. Its use and existence are mentioned in the records of Emperor Skandagupta of Gupta dynasty, who ruled over India in the 5th century CE. The historical records show that the dam was continuously operational for almost eight centuries. The story of Lake Sudarshan has lived on through a unique inscription. Imagine, there exists a large boulder, which has withstood nature and man for millions of years. Imagine, three kings, centuries apart, choose that boulder to be the immortal witness of their deeds and triumph. Well, you don't have to imagine. It exists near the now extinct Lake Sudarshan. And it is called Junagadh Inscriptions. Emperor Ashok, King Rudradman and Emperor Skandagupta have inscribed their story on three sides of the single rock. To think of it, few meters of a rock's circumference contain a history that spans 700 years. It is an amazing story from India's ancient past. Follow our YouTube channel and visit our platform bharatvidya.in to learn more such stories from India's rich history.